I've seen it here. Could be good. I'm gonna start with a yellow, hollow flat leg. The bigger the fish is, the harder it is to bring to my hand. Once it's close and not too green, I'll pull my rod to the side and try to grab my leader, being careful not to put too much of an acute bend in the rod. High sticking like that can lead to a broken rod. When you get the leader, hand line the fish, but be ready to drop the line and grab the rod handle if the fish decides to make a last second dash. Not bad one. I didn't do it here, which might be the reason I lost this fish, but when I hook into a bigger fish, I try to strip set and then get the bend in the rod immediately after. I'll strip again to make sure the hook's in the mouth, and then I pull up on the rod hard and fast a couple times to drive that hook home. Oh, fudge. Damn it. Oh, that's a big fish.
For bluefish up to about 15 pounds, you can grab them like I am, behind the gill plate. Make sure you grab a few inches back from the actual gill plate so that you're grabbing the fish's meat, and be careful not to crush its fins in your grip. If your grip is too close to that notch where the gill plate meets the body, you're going to shred that fish's gill plate if it starts to shake. Sick. Alright, they're getting shredded. I'm going to have nothing on this hook by the end of the day. Okay, that's what we're working with now. All of a sudden, the bluefish were 200 yards away. There was no more thrashing in my vicinity, but I saw shadows. I cut off my 60-pound tippet and tied a shrimp fly onto the 15-pound mono. So the bluefish dipped out. So I'm splashing up current or down current. So I think they just followed. I love hand lining like this, and I'll always choose to do it unless the fish tells me it needs to go on the reel. Hand lining just makes the fights quicker, which is better for the fish. If the fish wants to run, I let it take line, but I'm making sure my line stays tight and I stop the fish as soon as possible. Yes, it is. Are you being followed? Yes. Awesome. Oh man, I'm so glad I made that switch. I had a feeling some strappers would be coming through. Buddies are here following him in the water. That's crazy. Yeah, he just did it. He's released. Let's see if I can catch his friends. Oh no, he just broke the hook. Yo, he just broke the shank off my hook. Alright. That was cool how the stripers came in right after the blues. Can't believe I actually ciphers them. So at this point, the current had started moving back out and the bluefish came with it. 
My session ended abruptly when a jet ski tore through the flats. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two. Definitely like and subscribe, because I got some insane drone footage coming up that you won't want to miss.